and you hear ring of bell, immediately press the closest floor button and exit, or you might be influenced by supernatural forces leading to a fall. You finally got accepted to the university of your dreams. You left your hometown and moved to a strange, unfamiliar city. Due to economic constraints and the distance from the school, you decided to rent an old, eerie-looking apartment. Soon, you obtained the keys from the landlord. The room, though not large, but had a somewhat complete set of old-fashioned furniture. While you were unpacking your belongings and daydreaming about university life, you stumbled upon a handwritten note in one of the desk drawers. It read, Hello, I am the previous tenant. If you wish to safely navigate the days ahead, I hope you'll remember and abide by the following rules. Rule number one, do not mention anything about this note to anyone. Rule number two, lock all windows and doors tightly after 11 p.m. Do not let them from outside in. Rule number three, if you hear tapping on your windows at night, stay calm and do not let it know you can sense its presence. Rule number four, during the day, the bathroom is safe. If you need to use it at night, carry a cup of salt water. Whatever is in there fears the scent of salt. Rule number five, whenever you spot a black cat on your balcony, silently repeat, a cat is a four-legged human. A human is a two-legged cat. Then return to your room and wait for five minutes. We're here at seventh floor. Ordinary cats shouldn't be on your balcony. Rule number six. If you hear a baby crying with the smell of rotten meat outside your door, do not attempt to locate the source of the sound. There are plenty of things in this world that can mimic the cry of a baby. Rule number seven. If you're in the elevator, and you hear ring of bell, immediately press the closest floor button and exit, or you might be influenced by supernatural forces leading to a fall. Rule number eight. If someone claiming to be security personnel knocks on your door at night, do not respond. Remember, an old apartment like this doesn't have security, especially not at night. The note concluded with a chilling warning. I hope you make it past 30 days. After that, please move out immediately. Trying to leave early will only provoke them, and you wouldn't want to know the consequences of angering them. You half believed and half doubted the rules, but noted them all down and placed the note back in the drawer. You thought that as long as you were careful, there shouldn't be any danger. One night, after returning from a university welcome party, semi-intoxicated, you noticed a strange cat on the balcony. You instinctively shoot it away, only to remember the rules in the drawer. At that moment, the bizarre cat emitted an eerie, monstrous growl, and the lights in the living room began to flicker. Desperately, you tried to retreat into your bedroom, an unknown force locked the door. You frantically pounding on the door. A moment after, you cautiously glanced back, only to see nothing as if the earlier events had been nothing but an illusion. On the 30th day, your door swung open. A couple and the landlord entered, seemingly unaware of your presence, busy unpacking their belongings until they discovered the note in the drawer. You leaned close to read the altered rule five. If the living room lights start to flicker, quickly hide in the bedroom and lock the door. Something will pound on the door and try to get in. You'll be safe after the pounding stop. The chilling atmosphere in the apartment left you stunned as you realized you already became one of its. <laughs>